Hey everyone, this is Dawn. I'm glad you've joined me for my virtual crop workshop with the Makers with Heart. And I'm going to teach you the twisted ribbon technique. We're gonna make four cards and a double page layout with this technique. Okay, so for the prep work, um, I've asked you to go ahead and cut the base uh, pieces for the twisted ribbon technique and then a whole bunch of stamped flowers cut out. Okay, so this is sort of a prototype here, and this is the look of the twisted ribbon that we're going to get. So for this first card, the supplies that we'll need are the stickers uh, from the sticker sheet. I'm going to use these uh, ballerina border strips and then a diagonal uh, ballerina striped piece. These are all from Flower Shop and then the blue dot piece. We'll use the tags and tabs thin cuts and the background element stamp set. I'm gonna use a lot of the paint splotches and then flourished greetings for my sentiments. And then of course, floral blooms, okay. And I've used the coordinating cardstock colors along with the ink colors. So I just, I pulled all the colors. I'm not gonna use them for uh, all of my projects, but I pulled them. And then also some silver glitter gems. So if you've done the prep work, I'm hoping that you stamped and cut out a whole bunch of flowers and leaves. You won't need this many. I kind of went a little crazy here, but I like to have a lot at my fingertips uh, to choose from, okay? So let's start the twisted ribbon technique. I'm gonna walk you through the full technique for this first one. And then if you've done the prep work for the following uh, cards and layouts, you'll have those done already, okay? So this first base piece is in raspberry. And it's cut at one and five eighths by five inches. And then I'm just going along the top uh, edge of it and marking um, little tick marks at half inch intervals. And then I'll flip it around and use my T-square ruler and then mark again at half inch intervals. Okay, so you have those little marks there to work with. All right, now here's the twisted ribbon technique in action. Uh, first, I'm going to go ahead and show the cutting of the strips. Um, for this 12 inch strip, I've used uh, wider uh, strips, but for cards, you want to use half inch strips. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut this sapphire piece that has the dots on it from uh, the uh, flower shop collection. I'm cutting it at half an inch by two and a half inches. So for the darker piece, you need five quantity. And then for the lighter piece, you'll need six. So this uh, effect, it, it works better if you've got a darker piece down uh, first and then a lighter piece on top of it. So it can be patterned. I like to use patterns that have a, a good solid base to them so they're not too busy and then you can see the full technique of the twisted ribbon. So these are the stickers and I've uh, cut them off the carrier sheet and uh, now I'm just trimming them down to two and a half inches each and you'll need six of those, all right? Okay, so let's get started. Um, I'm gonna take this sapphire piece and add some adhesive to the back and you're going to start by using the top left corner piece and putting the top of that piece down and then uh, add it at a diagonal and then put the top of the uh, strip down right on that tick mark okay and let the edges hang over so then just go down to the next tick mark and work with the top portion of that strip and go at a diagonal and put the top to the tick mark and then the top to the tick mark on the right side and go all the way down and then at the bottom you want the bottom of that strip to meet that bottom right corner okay and then you go in with your lighter color and you start with the bottom of the strip and put it right at that intersection uh, where the darker one meets and then the uh, right side the bottom of it meets the top corner of raspberry and then go ahead and go down to the next one and so the bottom is going to the intersection and the top is going to the uh, 
uh, the right tick mark at a diagonal. So you just continue like this all the way down. So the bottom goes to that bottom intersection and then the top goes to the top on the right side. And then the very last one, your the top of your strip goes to that bottom left corner and then it goes over to the right. And then you just flip it over and cut off all the excess. Okay. And there's your twisted ribbon strip. Ta-da! Okay, let's make a card. So my base is in raspberry. So that's at uh, four and a quarter by five and a half. And then I have that uh, diagonal striped ballerina piece at four by five and a quarter. I'm gonna layer in my uh, twisted ribbon, but first I'm going to stamp on this piece of ballerina pattern paper. So I'm gonna bring in my T-square and kind of line up where the edge of that twisted ribbon piece is going to be. And I'm going to kind of mark it lightly with some pencil marks. I want to do some stamping, but I don't want my twisted ribbon to cover it up. I kind of want it to meet right there where the at the edge of the twisted ribbon. Okay, so I'm going to bring in some of these background elements stamps. This has the little X's on it. And I'm going to stamp a couple of them in sapphire ink. And then I'll bring in this uh, paint splotch stamp. It's like a splatter stamp with some flamingo ink. And stamp that down and then some bigger splatters. Just kind of randomly putting them down on that pattern paper. And then my sentiment from Florist Sentiments, this one is going to read Thinking of You, and I'm going to stamp that out in Sapphire. Okay. All right, now we're ready to assemble. So I have a card base, and I'm just going to put my Raspberry piece down with a combo tape runner. This is the Air Touch tape runner. I love it. It runs smoothly and doesn't jam up. And if you need to pick up your piece that you've put down, you still have a few minutes to pick something up and make adjustments. So we're just going to put everything down. And then I'm going to bring in a tag that I cut from the tags and tabs. And this is that uh, the flower shop paper that's a floral that has a base of sapphire. So pretty. And then I've just got an assortment of flowers and uh, greenery. Just going to kind of lay things out first before I start adding things and gluing things down. So I'm just making a little cluster of florals. And then I'm going to use that rose sticker from the sticker sheet for the center of the rose uh, stamped image. So I'm just going to put everything down and have that tag as a base for my floral cluster to be anchored to. These flowers are so pretty. I've used them on lots of projects. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that uh, rose with some foam tape. Cause then I can slide my other leaves underneath. I'll just put those down with some Tombow tape runner. And then I'll add my sticker. And then for the last touch, I'm going to add some silver glitter gems. 
So I'll add a large one in the center of that flower and two smaller ones. Okay, there's card number one. So pretty. Get a lot of variety with the flower shop collection. So here's some close up shots. You can see those stamp splatters. They really make a difference. Okay, let's make another card. So the base for this twisted ribbon portion, it's in ballerina, it's the light side of ballerina. And it's cut at two and nine sixteenths by five and a half inches. And then the tick marks are also uh, at a half inch intervals down both sides. The strips are cut at a half inch by three and a half inches. All right. So again, we're going to do the technique here. And I'm going to start with raspberry cardstock strips. And you're going to start with that top portion of the strip and have it meet that upper left corner and then the top of the right side of the strip meets the first tick mark and then you continue on down the top of the left side meets the tick mark and then the top of the right side meets the tick mark at diagonals and then at the bottom you take the top of the strip and have it meet that bottom corner on the right side. And then you continue on with the lighter color strips and have that first piece hang off the top and the bottom of it meets that upper right corner. And then you continue down at a diagonal at each intersection where that raspberry cardstock meets the edge of the left side. The bottom of your strip is going to meet that intersection and then go at a diagonal and then the top of the strip is going to make, meet the right side. And just continue at diagonals. All the way down. And then you'll flip it over and trim off all the excess. So this one varies from the others in that both strips are uh, the same quantity. So in this case, it's six that you'll, you'll need. And that's because this uh, twister ribbon base is longer and a little bit wider. There's the effect right there. And we can start building our card. So I have a card base. And then I've cut two pieces, raspberry and sage. Raspberry is cut down to two and seven eighths by five and a half. And then sage is two and three quarters by five and a half. So that I have tiny little strips of color on either side of that twisted ribbon. So I'm going to lay this panel down on my card front and I'm just going to make some light pencil marks just so I can follow uh, where that panel is going to be laid and then I'll know where to stamp. So I'm going to bring in some flamingo and sage ink and use those X's and stamp a couple of those in flamingo. And you can really pick whatever kinds of elements you want to use. I like the splotches and the X's, <laughs> the, the paint splatters. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and assemble that panel. So I'm going to put the sage down on the raspberry. And then we'll put the twisted ribbon down on, on top. And then we'll add the whole panel to our card front. So fun. And like I mentioned before, I think the effect really works when you have a darker color 
um, for one of your strips for that first uh, bunch of strips that you lay down because then you can kind of see those diamonds. Okay, so now I've cut a tag in Flamingo and I'm gonna go ahead and trim that down to two and seven sixteenths. And then I'm gonna make some banners. So I've added this to the, uh, the cut file. So you may have already done the prep work for this, but I'll just show you the technique here. Um, I'm cutting the raspberry down to one by four and then I'll dovetail each end. And then I'm gonna cut the sage at five eighths by three and a quarter. And I'm making sure I'll have enough that'll poke out on either side. And then to dovetail, all you do is cut vertically at the end of the strip and then take each corner to meet that snip. So your first cut, that's in the center, don't go too deep because the deeper you go, the more angled your dovetail is. And I'm just kind of lining things up. Ultimately, I decided just doing it freehand was much easier, but I kind of lined it up with the first just so that I could get the same kind of angle. And then I'll do the other side freehand. All right. So now we have two little banners and we're gonna layer them on top of each other. Okay, we'll get all our extra stuff out of the way and we're gonna do some stamping. So I'm gonna bring in some pine ink and this time I'm gonna use the happy birthday sentiment. So the florist sentiments, there's several different options to choose from. So you can pick whatever sentiments you need for whatever cards you need. I thought I'd make a birthday card with this one. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and lay down that banner. I'll have the sage on top of the raspberry. And then we'll add the whole banner to the center of the card. Okay, and then on top of that, I'm gonna pop the tag using some foam tape. And then we'll finish it off with a flower Okay, so this is a little rose that's from the sticker sheet and I've got some greenery stamped out and uh, die cut in sage. So we'll just put down a rose and a leaf. And then to finish it off, I'm gonna add some silver gems. So I'm gonna use a large one in the center under my sentiment and then I'll put two smaller ones on either side. Okay, there's the finished card. And here's some close-up shots. I love that stamping on the top and bottom. It just really makes a difference. And it's so easy. Can't go wrong. Okay, let's make another one. So I have my twisted ribbon base. This is white daisy and it is cut at one and five eighths by five. And I've made my tick marks at half inch intervals. And then I have a bunch of strips cut at a half an inch by two and a half inches. So this first one is again, that sapphire dot uh, patterned paper from Flower Shop. And I'm doing the same technique, just starting with the top portion of the strip and thinning it down on the tick mark and then going at a diagonal. And then the very bottom one, the bottom of the strip meets that bottom right corner. And I'll go in with a lighter color. And this one is a uh, gingham that's an avocado and white daisy. And I'm gonna let that portion hang over the edge of the top 
along with the sides and just go down in that diagonal zigzag sort of way and then the very bottom one the bottom portion of the strip meets that sorry the top portion of the strip meets that uh, bottom left corner and then I'll flip everything over and trim off the excess you'll have a few more chances to do this technique I've left it in uh, the video so you can adhere the zigzag strips with me for all of the cards and for the layout okay trim off all that excess and then we have our twisted ribbon piece Okay, so I have cut a piece of avocado at one and seven eighths by five and one eighth so that I can layer the twisted ribbon on top of it so that the white daisy doesn't blend in with the background. And then I have a piece of sapphire cut at four and a quarter by five and a half, and then this dahlia paper is cut at four by five and a quarter. This one's going to be a landscape card. So I've got my card base, and I'm just going to start layering things down. So I'll add that sapphire piece. There's so many pretty colors in this collection and lots of different combinations that you can use. Of course, you can do the same technique using whatever floral papers you might have from your stash. Okay, so I'm going to lay everything out. I've cut a tag using the light side of honey butter. And that's where my sentiment is going to go. So I'm going to flip over my Versamat for stamping and I'm going to bring in some ink colors. I have avocado and sapphire. So I'm going to stamp some of those little X's out in avocado. And then my sentiment in sapphire and it says thank you get that stamped down so you'll find the flower shop collection in the core catalog if you're looking for which catalog it come from comes from and currently what is available is the collection with the stickers so go ahead and add that twisted ribbon strip and then we're going to pop the tag with some foam tape then I felt like that tag was starting to disappear a little bit so I'm going to ink the edges with sapphire ink so I have a sponge dauber and just inking around with sapphire to kind of give it a little more definition so it'll pop a little bit more against that background okay and then we'll go ahead and add that and then we can do a little floral cluster so i've chosen some leaves that were stamped in Pine on avocado. I did a little surgery to that one so the stem wasn't sticking so far out. And then I have some more stamped in honey butter on white daisy and then avocado on white daisy. And then I'll use this little avocado heart from the sticker sheet. And I thought I was going to use some gems, but then I changed my mind. <laughs> I think it's good. We're calling this one done. So cute. Here's some close-up shots. I love that avocado gingham. So pretty. And that Dahlia background paper. Okay. So this time I'm going to use the honey butter strips at the bottom of the sticker sheet from Floral Top. And then my strips are from 
the zip strips. Okay, so I've got my base piece and it's cut at one and five eighths by five. And then the zip strips are cut at two and a half inches. And then we've got the stickers cut at two and a half inches. So again, just start with the top of that strip, meet it with, at the corner of the left side of your base. The base, I forgot to mention, is also a patterned paper. It's a, a honey butter chevron patterned paper, but you can always just use honey butter if you like. So I'm just gonna continue with the twisted ribbon technique all the way down and have that bottom corner meet the bottom right corner. And then we'll go in with stickers. So I'm gonna start on that left side and then the right side goes off the edge and meets at that top right corner. And then we'll continue down with the stickers. So these stickers are a white floral on, on a honey butter background. Of course you can choose whatever type of lighter floral pattern you have from your stash if you don't have the flower shop collection. And then that bottom one, the top of it, of the strip goes starts at the bottom right corner. Okay, flipping everything over and we'll just trim off that excess. This card's gonna be a little bit different. And the twisted ribbon strip is going to be on the inside of the card. So we'll just trim off all that excess. Okay. And then I have a piece of sapphire to use as a mat. So the mat is cut at one and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And then my card base is sapphire. So I've cut it at eight and a half by five and a half, and then I've scored it at four and a quarter. So I'll go ahead and fold that and then burnish it with the bone folder carefully so the paper doesn't crack. So the inside piece is, uh, I'm gonna line it with white daisy and that's cut at four by five and a quarter. I had little fuzzies on the edges from my trimmer. I needed a new blade. So I used, uh, these are old basic gray files to get rid of the fuzzies. So I'm kind of laying everything out. That's the inside of my card and that's where the twisted ribbon strip is gonna go. And then I'm gonna cut off a portion of the front of my card, okay? So I'm gonna put it in my trimmer at one and a quarter inches. And then I'm just gonna chop it off. Okay, so what's left is three inches on the front of my card. So when the card is closed, you'll be able to see that twisted ribbon, okay? So then I have a uh, piece of white daisy for my card front, and that is going to be a border. And it's cut at two and three quarters by five and a quarter. And then I have this daisy um, pattern paper. It's, it's uh, white daisies on um, honey butter, and it's cut at two and a half inches by five. Okay, so I'm just gonna layer everything up. So I have a border, you'll see the sapphire, and then you'll see the white daisy, and then I'll have that honey butter daisy pattern paper on top. And then I'll add my uh, piece in the center, but first I want it to do a little stamping, okay? So I'm kind of deciding where my stamping is gonna go on that inside panel. So we'll flip over the Versamat for stamping. And I'm gonna use this splatter piece in Sapphire. Put that down. Okay. 
And then I'm going to bring in some honey butter and do a couple of stamps using the X's along the edge. Just for a little extra interest on the inside of the card. Okay. And then on the front of my card for my sentiment, I'm going to bring in the Thinking of You stamp and stamp that out in Sapphire. And then below it, I'm going to use the X's again, also in Sapphire. Okay, now we're ready to start assembling. I'll go ahead and put that liner in the inside. I'm putting that down so it has a sapphire border around the edges. And then we'll add that twisted ribbon piece on the right side. And then when the card is closed, you can see it. We'll add that honey butter patterned piece. Leave a white border around the edges. And then I'm going to add a floral cluster. So I've cut out two of these tags. One is in the avocado gingham and one is in that dahlia and sapphire and white. And then I've cut the same tags in white daisy to reinforce them. So I'm just going to layer the tags on top so that uh, there's a, a little extra reinforcement to them because they're going to hang off the edge of that card front. So I'm going to layer them one on top of the other. Hanging off. Okay, so when you put your adhesive down, don't put it on the entire piece because you don't want that sticky to be hanging off the edge when the card is opened. So just put it where you need it. And then add your two tags. Again, with that one, just adding it on part of the tag. Okay, so now we have a base to anchor our floral cluster. So again, um, with the prep work, I've stamped a whole bunch of flowers and uh, greenery. So I've got um, greenery stamped in avocado on avocado and pine on avocado and honey butter on white. And then also honey butter on honey butter. So I'm going to create a little floral cluster. I'm also going to use one, a couple of these daisy stickers that match that pattern pa paper that's from the sticker sheet. So I'll just tuck in a whole bunch of these little flowers. You can choose whatever flowers and color combos you like. I'll just tuck in a bunch of these leaves and make an, a nice little floral cluster. And I'm trying things out first before I start adhering things. I'll add another leaf to kind of get the color balance. And keep the eye moving around and tucking things underneath. I'll add that sticker. And then I wanted to use this last one. It was a little too big, so I'm going to do a little surgery and chop off part of it. So I can tuck it underneath that area right there. Good. Okay. And I thought I was going to use that last tiny little flower, but nope, not going to work. Okay. And then inside the card, I'm going to add that sticker. I've got one on the outside and one on the inside. 
Then the last step, of course, I need a little bling, so I'm going to add some of these silver glitter gems. So we'll put one in the center of the rose, and then we'll scatter a couple of the smaller gems on the card front. And there's our finished card. So pretty. Nice little surprise inside. And here's some close-up shots. So that is the four card portion of the workshop. And then coming up, we're going to do a layout incorporating this twisted ribbon technique. Okay, so let's get started. So again, I'm using Flower Shop. I'm using all the same supplies, the tags and tabs and the uh, background elements and the floral blooms along with Flower Shop collection and stickers. Now, this is going to go a little quicker. I'm basically doing this uh, layout just to show how I have incorporated uh, the twisted ribbon into a layout. And I'm going to use these stickers of me with my dogs. So the pattern I'm going to use is pattern number nine from Make It From Your Heart, volume three. And I've put a cut file in the uh, Facebook page uh, so you can see all of the different dimensions. And I've made a few adjustments, so I've added that to the cut file. So my strips are cut at three quarters of an inch by four, and my base is in honey butter, and I've uh, cut that at two and nine sixteenths by 12, and you need two of those. And then um, these strips, I've got uh, nine quantity of the honey butter ones and eight quantity of the sapphire ones, okay? And then the whole process is the same. The tick marks are, are at three quarters of an inches, so you've got a larger piece here to work with. And then your strips are, of course, wider as well. So you're working with a full 12 inch piece. But just go from tick mark to tick mark all the way down at a diagonal. until you get to that bottom corner. And so the bottom of the strip meets the bottom right corner of your base. And then we're gonna go in with the honey butter strips. And these are the, uh, the daisy pattern on honey butter. So I'm using the, the base is light honey butter and then the patterned paper on top of that. So what really pops are those diamond shapes that you create using the sapphire pattern paper. And again, just going down, layering those lighter pattern pieces on top. You get that twisted ribbon effect. So the bottom of that strip meets the intersection and then the top meets the intersection all the way down. And then that bottom one you're going to have the top of the strip meet that bottom left corner. And then you'll flip it over and cut off the excess. So you're going to need two of these. So for the right side of the layout, you're going to um, want to have this made up ahead of time. I'm not going to have it in the video, okay? <laughs> but it's the same process. So we'll cut up all that excess, and then we have our panel. Okay, so our base is going to be white daisy, and then I've cut uh, a piece of this floral paper and a skinny strip of sapphire. This is cut at a quarter inch by 12. And then this floral base is cut at nine and seven sixteenths by six inches, okay? So we'll go ahead and trim that down. We have everything laid out on our card front, okay? 
So that floral piece is three and three quarters inches up from the bottom. We'll get that laid down. So again, you've got the pattern in your cut file that gives these dimensions. And then we'll add that twisted ribbon base. So I've combined pieces A and B here and then uh, that skinny strip. So I've altered the, uh, the dimensions just a little bit, but the overall look of the layout is the same as the pattern. And then we'll add that sapphire piece with some glue. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna use the zip strip from one of the pattern pieces. So again, I'm gonna cut that down to nine and seven sixteenths inches. Our puppy's name is Roisin, which means little rose in Gaelic and Irish Gaelic. So I wanted something that reflected the little roses. So that zip strip has roses on it. So I chose raspberry for my car, my uh, photo mats, um, but you can choose whatever color goes with your photos. Um, out of this collection, you have a lot of choices. So um, I happen to be wearing that, uh, that uh, raspberry colored hoodie in one of the pictures. So I thought I, I would match that for my mats. So all of my mats are in raspberry and it's the light side of raspberry. We get all, all of our photos down and they're going to be popped with foam tape. I like to pop a lot. If I mat my photos, I like to pop them with foam tape. Um, you certainly don't have to. You can put them direct to your layout, whatever you prefer. I just tend to pop all of my pictures when I have them matted. Okay, those are good to go. Now we can take a look at the overall layout. And then instead of using um, the squares that are in the cut file, I have cut some tags. Okay, so I've used the dotted sapphire piece and then um, I've used the chevron honey butter uh, pattern paper for my tags. And then I've used those smaller tag tops. Um, I've also cut a couple of those also in the same pattern papers to use down in that corner. Okay, so now I'm going to do some stamping on my layout. And I'm using these same stamps, but then I've also got that, I don't know, it's like a marker scribble. Um, and I'm going to put all of these down and they'll lay under my title and then also at the base. So I'm going to use the Splatter piece in honey butter. And then I'm going to bring in some sage and do some other, some more splatters. Not exactly sure how I want to layer up those tags, but right now it's looking okay. And then my title is going to go in that top portion. So I'm going to stamp first so that the stamping lays underneath my title. So you can choose, this is very specific to my pictures, my title. So um, it's up to you. You can use stickers from the sticker sheet. You don't need a title, um, whatever your personal preference is. I use some uh, letters that I cut out in Sapphire ink um, from a Sizzix set. And so I'm going to stamp a, a large splotch in uh, sage ink. And then I'm going to do some more paint splatters and honey butter. It's kind of random. And then my title is going to go right along that uh, zip strip at the top. Okay. All right. So I have that piece of sage and honey butter over to the right because I'm going to do some stamping on it later on if you're wondering what that's all about. Okay. So off camera, I have already cut out all of these uh, letters to do my title and I've stacked them. I've uh, die cut them all and uh, I've got three layers and I've got them stacked so they've got some dimension okay 
And my title reads, What's Better Than One Dog? Two Dogs. So off camera, I will get them all glued down. And then I'm going to do some stamping. So if you've done some prep work, you may have already uh, got some flowers ready to go. But I'm just going to keep this in the video and uh, stamp out some of these daisies in honey butter on the light side of honey butter and then some of the greenery in pine on the light side of sage. Okay, and then off camera I will die cut everything. And that will be for my floral clusters. Okay, and then um, before I cut them out, I'm using a navy blue journal pen and I'm just uh, coloring in the top portion of these daisies so they look the same as the pattern paper. And then we're ready to go. Okay, everything's cut out. We're good to go. Now I'm going to lay everything out on my layout here and kind of play with what we've got here. I knew I wanted to use that sticker. So that kind of was uh, the basis for my choices of uh, embellishments here and they go with that pattern paper underneath it and then I'm going to use some of these acrylic hearts they're from the rainbow acrylic heart set um, you certainly don't have to use uh, the hearts you can use more of the uh, silver glitter gems if you want to do that it's up to you it's optional so now I'm just kind of playing around with these flowers to see what they're going to look like. And I thought I was going to use those stickers, but then ultimately I uh, decided against it. And I'm trying to figure out where to lay these little tabs down so they'll be kind of poking out from the bottom of my picture here. So we'll lay all of our flowers out, and I do fuss with them quite a bit. Um, until I get them the way I want them. So it's always good to lay things out before you start adding glue. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and put our pictures down. And then we can add those tabs. And then um, as I start assembling this little floral cluster, I change my mind again and wind up pulling that sapphire piece up and moving things over. That's the beauty of using a, a tape runner that's it's going to stick nicely, but if you have to pull anything up, you still have that option. So I'm going to add these tags, and they're in place of the rectangles that are in the uh, pattern. And that will be a base for my sticker and other embellishments. So I'll go ahead and add that sticker. And then we'll add another one. So I've um, added a sticker that says, you are my happiness, and then that little heart sticker. And then we'll go ahead and add these acrylic hearts using some glue dots. And then I have a little heart sticker that's in honey butter. So we'll scatter a whole bunch of those all around. And then we'll add the photo. And then we can work on that cluster at the bottom. So I know I want to put an acrylic heart, and I'm going to attach that directly to my photo. And then I'll add some of this greenery. Some is popped, and then some is direct with glue. And this is where I decided to move that sapphire piece, because I was covering it up all the way anyway with the greenery. So we'll pull that. Get our little greenery cluster with our flowers down first. Move those things around. And then we'll add our daisies. I think that's what they are. I don't know. I'm not, I don't know my flowers very well. I think they're daisies. And our little heart. 
And then I decided to add that other tab over to the right. And then I needed a little more splatter stamping. So I'm going to bring in some more honey butter. And I'm going to add some more splatters to the bottom. Right there. Okay. So we're going to call it a left side done. Okay, so here's some close up shots. That's me with my puppy who in this picture, she's like nine weeks old and I have a crop at my house once a month. And so a couple of my customers, my friends, they brought their dogs too. And we just had a big old puppy party and tried to get a little scrapbooking done too. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna do the right panel. And again, um, this floral piece, it's, it's uh, placed three and three quarters inches up. And then I'll add that zip strip with the roses on it. And then we'll add our twisted ribbon piece to the right. And that sapphire strip. So cute. So the puppy is a cockapoo. She's going to be bigger than the cockapoo that we have now. So we have a nine-year-old cockapoo. They're still coming to an understanding <laughs> with each other. They do like to play a lot. So one of these pictures, they're playing tug of war with a toy that a friend of mine made for them. And then Roisin is laying out on the floor. And I love that look that Pixel went the selfie of the two of us. She's like, is she really going to stay? <laughs> Giving me side eye. <laughs> I think that's a cute picture. And then I'm going to go ahead and lay out those tags and my floral cluster. So uh, one of the stickers I've just journaled. Um, it's just simple. Me, Pixel, Roisin, March of 2023. And then I'm going to add my uh, the rest of my title that says two dogs and I'm going to stamp underneath it. So I have that uh, paint or marker wash. I'm going to stamp that in sage ink and then I'll do some splatter stamps in honey butter all around. And some more of those splatters in sage. Okay, so I'm all done adding that title. And then we can add our photos. So again, I've popped them with some foam tape. And we'll go ahead and bump that over all the way to the left against the edge of the layout. The photos take up more space because of the photo mats. But I think it works. And then we'll go ahead and start building our floral cluster. So I have the uh, tags cut out in pattern papers. I'll layer them in. And then we can add our sticker. And then I'm going to add another sticker that says we belong together underneath that journaled sticker. So I'm just laying out my flowers. So those stems, that's the one image, uh, the skinny stems that doesn't have a coordinating die that's in this floral bloom set, but every other image has a coordinating die. There's 17 dies in that set. It's awesome. So I have fussy cut those stems out, but they were pretty easy. I'll add a couple of flowers. And some more acrylic hearts. Get those down with some glue dots. And a sticker. And then that avocado sticker. 
So I'm gonna slide it underneath both the sticker and the edge of the photo. So I'm just kind of pulling up that sticker so I can tuck it under there. And then I'm pushing it over to the left. Get those two down. And then we'll add another acrylic heart. So cute. Okay, so now we'll bring in the left panel here and you can see the full double page spreads. So we'll get things cleaned up on my desktop here and we'll move everything over and you can see the other panel with it. Well, that's better than one dog, two dogs. So cute. All right, and here's some close up shots. So you can catch more projects, layouts, and cards on my YouTube channel, just search under my name or Pixels and Paper Crafts, and you'll be able to find more creative things made with Close My Heart products. So I hope you're having a fun, creative day today, and I appreciate you watching.